What's going on guys? Today, we will be learning on how to do automated birthday email with a few simple steps. And of course, today, we'll be exploring a platform called Lido. So, without further ado, let's check it out. Alright guys, so let's just say for an example, we have a set of data in our Google spreadsheet. So, I have the name, email, birth date and age so age uh, i'm using the date difference um, formula so you can uh, copy this uh, if you want to do an age calculation all right so basically right now i want to do a birthday reminder automation using a platform called lido okay so Lido is uh, one of the platform available in the, on the internet where it provides you sets of automation that you can do for your spreadsheet. So I'm not going to deep dive uh, what it has for today, but basically we can actually achieve the birthday automation using Lido. So first and foremost is either you log in or register so since I already have my account, I'm going to head on to login. I'm going to use the Google option. So login with Google. Next, of course, you will be brought to the uh, home page in Lido. So I'm going to create a new file. So click on new file here. And you will see something similar to Google spreadsheet. Okay. And we can actually connect the data that we have in Google Spreadsheet by selecting the connect data here on the left side of your UI and select Google Sheets. Okay, you can add your own account if you're a first time user. Since I already have mine, I'm going to head on to select. Then it will ask me to paste the Google Sheet URL. So to do that, back in your Google Spreadsheet, Head on to the top right corner, you'll find the share button. Click on share and copy the link. Okay, back in Lido, paste the URL, click on next. You'll then see that the data that you have in Google Spreadsheet is being displayed here in Lido and you can select uh, what sort of data that you want to import. So I'm going to remain to select all for now. So then we click on add data and give the table a name. So I'm just going to remain it to employees, similar to the one I have in Google Spreadsheet. All right, now you can see the data available here. Okay. I'm just going to resize this a bit. Okay. So we have the name, email, birth date, and age. Now, before we do the email notification for birthday, let's set some uh, prerequisites. So in Lido, there is a function or um, module called computed column. So I'm going to add this. So to go here, simply hover to the edge of the cell or the column. Say for column E, hover to the edge of it, you'll see this icon. Okay, and click Add Computed Column. Right, so the formula that I'll be using here, uh, which is I want to convert the birth date that I have in column C to uh, reuse the date, but for this year's uh, year, say for example, 2024. Okay, so the formula that I'll be using is date, Okay, so here I'll be adding year, year for today, then you can see now I'm at the month section of the formula, so month I'll take from the same column which is column C, so month C2. And then day C2 as well. Okay. 
So when I click on enter, you will then see that formula now is displaying the days or the dates similar to the birth date but for 2024. So this is the uh, indicator as to when I want the uh, email to be sent for this year. So send reminder date. Let's give it a name. Send reminder date. Okay. So we have this. Wonderful. So next, let's create a template for the email itself. So let's go to a different sheet. So let's say I go back to sheet one, which is an empty sheet. So the subject would be the title of the email. Okay. Subject. And the body. Okay, say subject is greetings and if we use a square bracket it will display the columns that we have in sheet 2 the ones that we have so let's say I want to use say greetings the person's name so I'm just going to click on name so you can see there's a placeholder for the name itself so greetings let's say for example Aris greetings Aris so the body will be happy birthday. You have turned square bracket the age of that person this year. Best of wishes. Okay, so this is the template, the basic template I've created for the email. All right, so back to my active spreadsheet. Let's reuse back the columns that we have in our template. So hover and let's add another computed column. So this time we'll be using a function in Lido called string template. So what it does is it will take the placeholders and look for the uh, value for that particular row so say for example if this column for name column for row number two will be aris okay let's give it a try string template once again so go back to the so string template so it what it does is it will take the uh template that we have used here so dollar sign in front of b dollar sign in front of one enter so you can see there's the placeholders being replaced with the names for each of the rows say greetings aris since row number two is aris and the rest as follows okay so this will be the email subject save another computed column this will be the body so similar to earlier method string template go back to the template that we have and this time we'll select the body let's add a dollar sign in front of b and number two so that it will apply for other rows as well and there you go so that's how quickly i can do the um, computed columns in lido so this will be the email body save Okay, so let's do the final uh, column, which is to send the email. So let's add another computed column. And this time, we are using a function called uh, send Gmail. Okay. So if you're a first-time user, you'll have to add your credential. So this will bring you to the Google uh, login form. All right. So since I've done that, I already have mine here. So I'm going to select mine. So I'm ready, I'm ready done. I've done my credential. So next, if I add column, it will go to the recipient email. So as to who do I need to send this email to? Okay, so we'll be using column email, which is column B. So this will be B2. The subject body or the subject, which is column F, F2. 
body will be G2. And that's about it. Okay. So if you do this check again, you can see it's already here. So send Gmail using my account to arisazar at dot digital at gmail .com. and this is the message for the subject and the message for the body all right but then this is not done yet let's add a condition okay so the condition i want to add before we uh, automate this is to make sure that we send this on the day itself so the formula would be if today is equals to so where is the reminder date e2 so we'll be using this okay send if today equals to e2 okay so now you can see it's all false okay because neither of the dates fall on today so today is the 23rd of March. So let's say, for example, I were to change this back in my spreadsheet and make this as 23rd. So we have two 23rd birth dates. Let's refresh this again. Now you will see, since this day, date falls on today, so the logic here shows that this is applicable for today. And the rest would be false since it's not the date for today okay and last but not least we want to run a run column on the schedule so by clicking on the hamburger or three dots icon here right three dots icon here run a column on a schedule so i'm going to run this for every day you can set this to happen every day at eight am and click on save so now i have a new automation ready to be run uh, at 8 am every day so that's how you do the automation in lido to send web day messages and of course to note that despite logging out or closing your browser lido will still run in the background for you 24 by 7 which means any data updated in your Google spreadsheet will also be reflected in Lido and any automation that you have set uh, in Lido such as sending automated birthday email will still run by itself according to the conditions that we have set as shown in my uh, video earlier and of course if you feel like giving it this a try there is a free tier uh, that Lido has provided and of course to note there is some limitations to note such as 20 automations a month uh, which is a mix of email slack and etc and of course i'll be uh, sharing with you more info on that in my website arisazahar.com uh, of course Lido do does provide the uh, friendly priced uh, tiers or package that you can actually give this a try or explore that gives you more features and of course lesser limitations and of course do let me know if you have given this a try in the comment section down below i'm aris azahar thank you very much for your time i hope to see you guys in the next video take care bye bye